so we go back here again we we go this is in the software section of this uh, disk IP device search we click on this device search and uh, then we click as you can see this is my local IP of my computer yeah so um, but I do a search I will see this allows you to be able to detect this camera on your network and change the IP address if necessary if if it's not part of your network at the moment it's part of my network you see it's very similar to my local PC this is because my default gateway is 192.168.0.1 default gateway is your router's address okay so this is the right network I don't need to make any changes to it so that's really good okay uh, this allows you if necessary to uh, if for example it was not part of my network if for example it, it was uh, one dot here instead of zero I would have to try to change it here to, to add it to my network this is very important it has to be part of your network this is basic networking I just cancel this so this is part of my network now I know where it is I can go to um, Internet Explorer I can go to Internet Explorer and I can type that in 192.168.0.103 okay this <coughs> you have to allow this you see allow uh, of course uh, it must be said that you must uh, set up um, um, I, I'll show you this is important um, you have to activate your active S controls. You must have to go to Internet Option first if you haven't done this before. Go to Security, go to Custom Levels, and then you need to everything to do with active S control. You either enable or you uh, or you prompt. So, for example, here we are. Let me see. Okay, this is enabled. Yeah, allow or no. This is disabled. This you can disable because this can be dangerous. Yeah, okay. This bit can be dangerous, so this is disabled. But the other ones are to do with active S control. Here is enable. It's important, it has to prompt you. And also, here is um, you keep going down, check out, and then this is download sign active S control. Very important. This is prompt. This is why it asks me if I want to. This is why that message came up here. So it asks you if you want to install it. This is important. Disable is the is the default, and if it does it, nothing would work. So you must be able to prompt. Now you can create also use enable, but prompt is better because it gives you a choice to choose. Uh, this is also prompt. This is important. And um, prompt again. You must do like that. And enable here. Okay, this is enable as well. And that's it, basically. If you do like all this, then you'll be fine. Okay. This is basic networking, you should know as well. So, this is how you do the initial stages. And you can type in the password here is admin admin at this point. We try to log in. And there you go. Straight away. There you go. Um, you can make some configurations. You can. This is the mainstream of the camera. You can make some configurations here. Okay. And uh, you can do all your settings here. Set up your motion detection and everything here. Okay. And that's it. You can actually go here as well and make sure that your network is exactly the way you want it to be. And when you, as long as this is in your network, everything is going to work perfectly well. Um, I recommend to remove DHCP enable because what this does when it's enabled it keeps changing your IP address all the time so now it's always going to be 103 this is important okay and then you save it okay but what I'm going to do I am going to enable it so when you get this camera when you get the camera it will automatically try to take your network address okay but please 
you must then open up go to this um, go to the page like this and change it and take off this DHCP enable this is important because if you don't take this off it's gonna keep changing all the time and it's gonna be very hard for you to find this camera okay so again when you get the camera it's gonna be DHCP enable but um, when you access the camera it's important that you go back here in your LAN section and take this off this is important so I'm gonna enable it now and that's it okay and that's it and uh, so basically you just have to follow the other video about how to add it to your to the NVR it's very simple you just do a search and it's gonna find the camera you're just gonna add the camera you, it might ask you for the password which is admin but that's it very simple thank you